Hey there, and welcome to day 11 of the Amazon 10K challenge, where I'm gonna take a product from $0 all the way up to $10,000 every single month on Amazon. And you're on the 10K train too, and you're coming with me. This is day 11, if you've watched every day so far, that's awesome stuff. Today we are going into the details of our listing. So I actually did the description, the dot points, the bullet points, and the title. I'm gonna show you how I crafted that to get as many SEO keywords in there as possible, but also to be really appealing to what our target audience wants. If you haven't seen any of the other days, definitely go back to day one and go through the first 10 days. They're really, really exciting and full of a lot of information and meet us back here. But today I'm excited to get into this. Let's jump straight into this expense sheet over here. We've been going through this every day. Keep track of our expenses. Our budget, once again, is $4,000. Our goal is $4,000 of profit a month. I'm really excited to get, start getting into that uh, because I'm getting a little bit bored without having the product. So i am been sourcing the product, we're getting it into Amazon, and I'm excited to start launching that and show you how to do that and how to make this money finally. So we're at $204 of investment so far. And once again, I say investments because every dollar that we're spending we are investing in our future. We're investing in our financial freedom and we're investing in dropping out of school or quitting our job. We're investing in the process and in yourself to give you the, to give you the skill to become an entrepreneur and be able to work for yourself and not depend on other people uh, to pay you, which is invaluable. And that's why you got to view every dollar you spend or every minute that you spend on this Amazon FBA journey as a positive and as something that you want to do more of and not as like a chore or a job or a once-off thing that might work, it might not work. So definitely remember that and uh, don't be afraid to put some money behind your product or put your time into your product if you don't have too much money uh, because it will do really, really well if you do. Uh, just to refresh the your <laughs> just to refresh your mind, we are doing scratch maps uh, and we are going to be trying to get them for six dollars each. We're going to buy five hundred of them, so it's going to be three thousand dollars, and we're going to use the last thousand dollars for this sort of stuff, this software and um, graphic design and innovating, all the stuff we've been doing so far, and also, of course, marketing. So some ads, some giveaways, some fun things, which we'll get into in a couple of days. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, make sure you do. Everybody's in the Facebook group. We're all helping each other out. I'm in there answering questions. We're all on the 10K train going through the journey together. So get in there, introduce yourself, make friends, and enjoy <laughs> enjoy each other's company. Uh, the link is, for that is in the description. Once again, this is the Amazon FBA Masterclass 2018. If you don't have access to this, but have been watching this journey so far, you really need access to this. If you've liked this journey, you're going to love this Masterclass. This goes into a deep dive, fully in-depth, uh, 10 modules for everything you ever want to know, everything that I've learned and Evan's learned in launching over 20 products between us. And all those questions, all those technical questions that you may have or all that uncertainty that you have about taking that next step, it's all answered in here. This course will give you absolute clarity and certainty around the whole process and around your specific product. So make sure you check out this course. The link is in the description and you can save $200 off by using the coupon code that's also in that description for you. All right, so today, like I said, we're gonna be getting into our product listing. I'm gonna show you how I came up with the dot points, how I came up with the description, how I came up with the title, and the reasons why. The reasons why I'll give you now, it's for SEO. We wanna rank as high as possible for the keywords that we went over yesterday. Uh, the keywords are the most searched, but also has the least competition, so we're gonna rank the highest for. And we also wanna appeal market-wise to our target audience. So we want to know what they're looking for when they're scrolling through the uh, SEO results and what they're, what's going to catch their eye and make them click on our product so that they can buy our product over our competitors. So let's jump into that now. Okay, awesome. So here I am on the listing that we created together yesterday. We went through and created a listing skeleton for our product, for our scratch map. And I've since been through and filled out the title, the dot points and the description in sort of a draft form. It's not finalized yet, but I wanted to get everything off my mind, off my notes sheets that I've been doing research on and actually onto this listing so they can be there and I can come back once we're all in stock, all ready to sell, make some final tweaks, make it a little bit better, uh, make this listing an 11 out of 10 
and then we can start selling it. So this is a draft mode, remember, and not everything here is finalized, but it's basically all the thoughts and all the framework that we're gonna eventually be using is now on this uh, listing, which is great. Of course, we don't have any photos in place yet, but they will be coming very soon, and uh, that will really finish off the listing. Then all we need is reviews, and we are ready to go. We're ready to compete with the competitors, we're ready to dominate the competition. So pull this back up real quick. This is our journey that we've taken so far. We have found the product as the scratch map. We've improved the product. We've looked at what people want. This is important to remember. We've looked at what people have asked for in a scratch map, what they want to innovate on, what they want different to the one that they've already bought. We did that by looking at our competitors' reviews. And then we added that to our map. Uh, when we sourced this map, we wanted to get uh, it bigger. We wanted to get, if I can go back to this, innovations over here. We want to get easier to scratch off. We wanted a beautiful design. We went for a minimalistic design. We wanted it uh, nice and thick, um, so not too thin and flimsy. Again, minimalistic, and the large one was the biggest one there, actually. Uh, I think if we have a unique selling proposition, it's going to be that it's really large, our map. Uh, so they're the five things that we focused on. And remember, these are using our customers' words, what they wrote in reviews, and what they were looking for uh, when buying a scratch map. So. Uh, we are also um, midway through finding and sourcing this product. I'm going to show you the a uh, few updates on what we've done with our suppliers, how we've sourced this product, how we've uh, how we're going to ship it into Amazon, how to print those labels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but right now we're still focusing on creating that listing, and I haven't quite ticked this off yet because I do want to come back and finalize before we launch. But we are getting really close to ticking both three and four off, so that's super exciting. On this listing, you'll see the first thing is the title. So on the back end, you can see under vital info on our listing that we created yesterday, the product name is gonna be the title right here. So product name will show up right here. And you wanna use quite a few characters. You don't have to fill it all the way up, but you can see I have quite a large title in here. And what I've done is I've both included uh, uh, keywords that I found to be super useful and I can actually go over because I did fill in these keywords too. I filled in all these keywords based on the research that we did yesterday um, and I've now used these keywords and copied them over to the description to the key product features or the dot points and in the title because it's really important for the, especially the biggest keywords or the ones that you're trying to compete with the ones that have the most competition and also the most search volume you want to make sure that they're in all four of those tabs, all four of those uh, categories. That's the name, the dot points, the description, and the keywords. Because then Amazon's going to scan your product. They're going to look at the back end. They're going to see, okay, they've included scratch off world map four times. Therefore, this is this product is going to be really strongly associated with the word scratch off world map. And there's a few other things I'm going to be talking to you about to get better rankings on the Amazon search results. Uh, as we go, such as like sales momentum and uh, and purchases under a keyword. But right now, this is the most we can do for SEO. And uh, we're not in a rush to start ranking because I think we are going to run out of stock pretty quickly. So the title I went with is large. Remember, that's the very first uh, selling proposition. That's our unique selling proposition. Our number one front runner that people have been wanting and people have been writing in um, their reviews of other products premium because we always want to be premium we want to be high quality we're making sure when we source our products that they are high quality because we can charge more for them we get better reviews and people like them more uh, full color scratch off world map so you can see right here scratch off world map is uh, the keyword right there and then I've given the size just so people know how large it is because once again that is our number one unique selling proposition so I want to make sure that they know it's really big and exactly how big uh, full color uh, makes people think, oh, maybe there's some without full color. Uh, and also our map is very colorful. You'll see this, the picture of it pretty soon. Uh, it's nice and vibrant and very colorful, so it's gonna match the picture really well. Easy scratch technology. Now, this is a term that I've come up with in order to um, have people think, or ha it, it is easy to scratch off. We're making sure that our, our product is easy to scratch the gold away um, off the let me just get a scratch map up for reference. That's our one. Let's try this one. So this is a scratch map once again. Uh, the top layer is gonna be a gold and you wanna scratch that off to reveal the colors of the countries you've traveled to underneath. And uh, a lot of complaints, or a lot of the 
reviews the lower reviews are saying the gold is hard to scratch off and it either rips or tears or creases or smudges the map underneath so we are combating that by making our gold very very easy to scratch off either by laminating the bottom or having some other um, sort of scratch off material or a better pick but basically I'm calling that uh, scratch easy scratch technology which means makes people puts people's mind at peace and again you uh, I have come up with this term it's not a thing that actually exists but it's a it's a, a marketing term that I've come up with so that people be like easy scratch technology they assume that's a thing they know what it means because it's self-explanatory and then they're gonna buy the product and not worry that's gonna be hard to scratch the thing you got to stress here is if you if I put something like easy scratch technology in the map and yet I don't make an innovation or I don't make it easier to scratch that's going to hurt me long term because it's going to come back in the reviews. They're going to say it wasn't easy to scratch. Um, and that's going to hurt me long term because the top review, the top rated review will probably be like not easy to scratch. That's going to take away a lot of sales. So you want to make sure if you're uh, innovating on the product and you're marketing that innovation, the innovation is actually real and it is uh, helpful to the customer. So then I've also put with map pins because uh, these are the accessories that our map comes with. Scratcher accessories. I'm not actually 100% sure what our accessories are yet, so I might come back in and change that one a little bit. And scratchable detailed US states. So another thing that people wanted, I didn't actually put in the sheet, they wanted to make sure that the states were of the US were scratchable. So you can see on this photo here uh, that the states are all marked out, and in Canada too, and I guess over here in Australia too. Um, their states are marked out and you can scratch them off one by one uh, because obviously people are going to do a lot of traveling because we're selling in the USA people are going to do a lot of travel around the USA and they don't want to wait till they have to take an international trip to scratch that was asked for and that's also in the back end of my keywords too so I made sure that was in the title um, detailed was again was a keyword that people are looking for and what I've also I can show you here I put scratch scratcher accessories and scratchable in here and scratch up again here so you can see the word scratch I'm um, you don't want to overstuff it you don't want to have the same word like scratch like four times but if you put variations of the word in there it's going to do really well for that keyword so that's the title let's drop down to these dot points and you'll see a very similar pattern that is then that is in my uh, title which is basically same sort of keywords are in here and same uh, sort of advertising the unique selling propositions so you're allowed five dot points and once again if we go to edit product info over the description they call it key product features back here and if you can't find how to add five um, it might start like this or it might start at one you can simply click that add more box all the way up to five and then add your inf info in there so what I've done is I've picked the five most sought after um, characteristics of a, of a map that's included in that map and put them into one dot point each. So the first one is that it's large, because remember that's our unique selling proposition. Once again, I got the size, I got a keyword in here, premium again, and then thick laminated, and then obviously the thickness of the poster. So that it's not only large, but it is thick. I wouldn't put two exclamation marks, that's actually a typo, I'd put one there. Um, so I'll go back and edit that. Then I got full true color world map. So once again, true color is not actually a term as far as I know that exists but it sounds like something, they're gonna look at this, the map and they're gonna be like, that is really cool colors. They got full color up here, true color down there, so they're saying, okay, these colors are gonna be awesome. Uh, beautiful style and hand-picked colors. Uh, emphasize your traveled countries. Again, wording's not great, I'm gonna get back in there, but basically that's what that dot point is gonna be about. I'm actually gonna put more info in here too, so that each dot point takes up two lines. So that'll double this size, so the dot points will be about this big. Uh, which makes the product just look a, lo a lot better and it gives the people more information. It also gives uh, the SEO a boost because there's more words to search. Easy scratch technology, there's that word again. It's got the word scratch in there. Gold scratchable top layer falls away when you scratch with our scratch pick. Okay, scratch is probably in there too many times. I'll probably go back in there. I've got no residue. I want to change that to something else. Uh, it's not really called residue, but you got the idea. That's going to be the easy scratch technology dot point. Premium, high quality scratch map, construction suitable for a traveler, uh, for a traveler, again, gotta do the wording uh, a lot better than this, classroom, gift, home, office, so that's a little bit of keywords in there, and also making them know, um, to be sure that the 
the map is super high quality and you can give it as a gift. You can give it as a birthday present, as a gift. You can put it in a classroom. It's a professional looking map and I might put that word professional in there when I go back and edit it. And then of course the other concern was that the map wasn't up to date or accurate as was coming up in the keywords, uh, in my keyword research. Keyword research. So custom cartography, uh, accurate country, oceans and island details. So you can see each dot point is associated with one very specific thing and then it's going to highlight that and also have um, keywords in there. You can see scratch map, you can see maps in here, countries over here, um, yeah, countries over here again. Uh, you don't want to keyword stuff so once again I think I'm going to take out the word scratch uh, in here because I've seen I've seen to have it one, two, three times and then scratch uh, scratch pick so three times in this one I'm definitely gonna cut that down um, but you do want to make sure the keywords are there so it's it's better to put too many keywords than than too little keywords or no keywords but the best way to do it is to put like a reasonable amount of keywords in there maybe two maximum per uh, sentence come down here to the product description and you can see where that goes that's just right up here now um, we're gonna get what's called enhanced brand content and that's going to let us uh, I think this guy might have it he does not ha oh, he does not have it enhanced brand content will let us put uh, photos in our uh, description it'll be much much nicer to look at um, I might just go enhance So let's see if they have some images of it. Yeah, here you go. So in the description, you can see that they put images. Uh, so this is taken on a mobile screenshot. But instead of just having text, we can actually go in there and put images of a map, more descriptions of a map. We can put cool graphics or um, infographics. We can put uh, flags and cool stuff like that so that it makes the listing a lot higher quality. Uh, we can't do that yet. We have to register our business. We might have to trademark our company. And uh, once we do that, we can then get that access but right now it's just a wall of text but it's fine because it's going to have people reading it it's also going to have uh, excellent SEO in here uh, I don't think I'm going to read it to you word by word but basically what I've done is I've gone back over where is our there it is I've gone back over our dot points in this so you can see uh, up here the size once again because that's a USP so it's always first unique selling proposition that is once again uh, the thickness uh, easy scratch technology once again 100% um, up to date so you can see it's basically these dot points reworded make sure the keywords are still there and then um, expanded upon premium I was trying to be created with quality in mind and it talks about the packaging talks about a money-back guarantee so you're allowed quite a few characters here I'm not exactly sure how many 2,000 characters here so make sure you fill this up it doesn't have to be 2,000 but at least a thousand fifteen hundred would be great and you can put a uh, the keywords of course back in here again don't overdo the keywords I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna edit all these things so all four of those aspects at the end uh, once the our uh, before we start to sell so once we're in stock once our photos are done I'm gonna come back in and I'll show you what changes I'm gonna make and then we can launch that but it's not hundred percent done but what I do like to do at this stage of launching a product is just having my ideas in there in a logical order that I can easily come back and make small edits to instead of having it in stock and then having to write up everything. I like to do that ahead of time before the uh, supplier sends over all our stock. So that's it for this video, that's day 11. I'm getting a little bit antsy to start launching this. I'm getting a little bit bored to be honest uh, with this uh, sort of theoretical stuff. I'm really excited to show you our snowball launch. I'm really excited to, how to show you how to market our product, how to uh, race up those search engine <laughs> how to race up the search rankings so how to outrank your competitors how to put in long-term strategies to make sure you stay on top of our competitors and we're gonna get let's go have a look at what our scratch maps are doing over here so scratch map on all I'm gonna give them a jungle scout to see how their sales are still going so you can see this guy's still at 120,000 all of these listing quality scores are high which is very interesting because this is not actually normal. We've got a seven out of 10 here. Average price is $26, which is pretty good seeing how we've got a $6 purchase price. Um, but you can see all these listing quality scores are really high and there's a lot of people doing quite a bit of money. 
and a lot of people will look at this. Oh, we've got a couple of hundred and fifty thousands down here. A lot of people will look at this and and think um, that it is overcrowded. But once again, we do want to do a, a so you can see that's enhanced brand content right here. So this guy's got it. This guy's doing well. I wanted to see his keeper graph to see how long he's been doing well for. You can see he dipped in, yeah. So he is selling extra because you can see this green one right here is his sales rank. So you can see he was ranked just above 500, maybe an average of 500. And then Christmas came because this is a great gift idea. And you can see he's dropped right on down and he's under 100 in, what are we, office? What category are we in? Office products. So that is. Uh, in, an incredible ranking as you can tell by him doing $150,000 uh, a month or at least this month that will uh, bounce back up and I do think it is currently December 23 so we are going to be launching this uh, after Christmas for sure it's December 23 in Australia too if you're confused and you're watching this on the 22nd um, it's about 1 a.m. here I'm just finishing this off uh, so we are going to launch this after Christmas. We are going into a competitive environment that people have said they've tried. I've had one friend do it. We had that Hector guy on YouTube uh, say that it was a bad product and he was only selling one a day despite his marketing efforts. He said it was overcrowded. Everyone's getting into it. I heard about this niche. I found this niche about a year and a half ago um, and it looked very similar. So it's not actually done any uh, too much growth over that time. So I am curious to jump in and see how much money we can make here. I'm, I'm sure we can blow the 10 G's out of the water. I just want to see how high can we go. Can we can we compete with these big fish? I think we can. We are on a medium sized budget. Uh, so we might might take a few months to get up there. Um, I also don't want to make any promises. Uh, we might not get up there. But uh, the, the goal is $10,000 a month. If we can get there, that's going to be financial freedom for you. That's going to inspire you to take action. I hope you're taking action alongside with me. I've been enjoying this series. Uh, a lot with you. I'm excited for day 12. I'm more excited for day 15 because that's when we start to launch this product. Please take action. Please get the masterclass and please join the Facebook group and I'll see you on day 12.